um, we're going to look at our next assignment, which is going to be building a lower third in After Effects. So we're going to design it in After Effects, and then we're going to take the layers into After Effects and animate it. So this is part one. So I'm going to go to, I'm in Photoshop again. I'm going to go Create New. And again, I'm going to go to Film and Video. I know I want to do 1080 HD. I'm going to change my black background to black color. And I'm going to create. And it didn't go black, so I'm going to just fill it in with black real quick. Here is, like, if I cut something out, this is what it'll be. And this is my foreground and background. So I'm going to go paint this in black real quick. Uh, I like a ba black background when I work. So I can see things. And again, this is a layer and it's locked. Okay. So to build this background, a lower third, uh, I'm going to start with a, a little banner across. So I'm going to go layer, new layer. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to call this banner. And I'm going to say, okay. For now, I want this banner to be... Oh, I'm going to go with a yellow, which or kind of a goldish, more of a golden type of color. And I'm going to say, OK. OK. Then I'm going to select my marquee tool. And I'm just going to draw this banner across here like this. And I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool and paint it in. So there's my first layer. Okay, I'm going to move that banner down a little bit. And then I'm going to go grab my text tool. And I'm going to say, I want this to be a dark color for right now for this one. I'm going to do OK. And actually with my text layer selected, I, can, I have that color change. And I'm going to say... And look how small it is, way too small to work with. So I'm going to come up here to my tools. When I click on a tool, this is what's available in that tool. So I'm going to take that to, oh, let's start with a 65. And I think that's still a little bit small for what I want to do right now. So let's say 100. Okay. And I could change the font. Um, I can come up in here and start hit my up and down arrows and find the font I want to use. And I'm just using my up and down arrows. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Um, I don't think I need to bold it. I'm going to pop this in right about here. And I'm going to come put another layer in. And I can just copy this too. So if I want to copy this layer, I can come in here and drop this here. And now I got a second layer of Bob Moss. Now I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to go grab my text tool again, click on that layer, and I'm going to say MCC Instructor. And I want to. Make that one a little bit smaller. So I'm going to again select it. I'm going to come up to here. And I'm going to say 75 on that one. So it's a little smaller. And then I'm still positioning it right there. Okay. And I want this one. And notice I'm staying in my safe, safe title areas. And I might bring this over a little bit. And, you know, I, I'm going to go find an image real quick to just add a little bit to this. So I'm going to go to open. Um, let's see what I have in here. Um, <laughs> looking for something I can cut out. Image. Not sure what this is. Hey, I'm going to actually use this real quick. And... Um, I'm going to cut this out and get, uh, like I did earlier with the alpha channel. And I'm going to click here. And 
And this doesn't mean anything. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this. So again, I'm going to make this path that I just created into a selection. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to take it into my other uh, thing because i got two things open right here. And I'm going to say uh, Edit, Paste. It's going to be way too big. But for now, so I'm going to go Edit, Transform, Scale. And we're going to scale that image. And be careful with, I just lost my aspect ratio. I think it's click, shift, click, shift, drag, keeps your aspect, uh, it's not keeping my aspect ratio. Um, shift, click, drag, keeps, oh, uh, it's, it's not keeping my aspect ratio. So be careful about click, click, shift, drag. Oh, I'm just going to make it smaller. Um, be careful of your aspect ratio. And I'm going to drop this in here. I'm going to go back to my layers, go to Bob Moss. Um, I'm on my pin, so i got to go back to my select tool. I'm going to move this over. And with the sign, I'm going to do something like so. Okay, so I have my four layers here, right? So I want you guys to be creative when you do yours. So I'm going to save it. So, and I can. Re, I could change these. So let's say I was going to use this for different people. If I save my Photoshop file, I can just come in here and change the two text layers. Um, and we can go from there. And I also don't need my background layer right now. So I'm going to go to my background layer and throw it in the trash. And I'm going to say yes. And again, this shows my alpha channel. If I want to take my opacity down here, I could. But I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to opaque it someplace else. Um, I don't. I want this to be brighter since it's kind of dark. So I'm going to go choose that layer. I'm going to go to layer. Um, actually, image. I'm going to go to adjustments. Image adjustments. I'm going to go to my brightness contrast. And I'm going to just brighten that image up a little bit. So I like it better and hit OK. Then I'm going to save this. OK. And I'm going to call it my Bob Moss Lower Third uh, PSD. So that's a Photoshop file. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to hit Save. And I will, I'm ready for my next step in this lesson.